we're going to talk about non-experimental study design today. So, what does non-experimental research design mean? It means that a researcher examines things that happen naturally. The examiner is simply inspecting or seeing objects in their natural environment. The most important thing to remember here is that there is no manipulation or control. It implies that you are employing an external source, such as a patient in agony who is receiving a painkiller injection. Giving a painkiller injection to a patient is manipulation, you are influencing the pain. So you are not injecting anything or changing anything, instead, the researcher is looking at what's going on organically. This is a non-experimental approach to research. The classification of non-experimental research design follows, the first is a descriptive research approach. The researcher will watch, document, and describe the things that happen naturally in a descriptive study approach. There will be no manipulation, instead, he will observe, explain, and document the events in terms of intensity and frequency. For example, a researcher is looking at back pain among nurses who work in intensive care units at one or more hospitals. The researcher is looking into the severity and frequency of back pain among ICU nurses, but he isn't altering them or giving them any drugs, instead, he is simply watching the severity and frequency of back pain among ICU nurses. So, with a descriptive outcome design, the researcher is seeing, documenting, and summarizing what is naturally occurring. The correlational study design is the next step. The term correlational refers to the relationship between two objects. Is there any connection between the two? The researcher is looking into the phenomenon to see whether there is a link between two things, or you might say the researcher is looking into the cause and effect relationship. Let's take a basic example, smoking and lung cancer. Is there a link between smoking and lung cancer? The researcher examines smokers to see whether there's a risk of lung cancer developing, so he studies the cause and effect relationship, which is a correlational research methodology. The design of developmental research is the next step. The crucial thing about a developmental research design is that it means the researcher is researching a specific issue at a certain point in time. We'll use the example of a researcher who is researching nursing students' attitudes toward the nursing profession. At the start of the course, the researcher is evaluating the nurse's attitudes or perceptions regarding the nursing profession, and at the end, he is watching. He's looking into nurses' current attitudes and perceptions of the nursing profession. So, in developmental research design, time is crucial because he is analyzing a certain thing at a specific point in time, which is development and research design. The survey research design is the next step. Design of survey research What exactly does the term survey imply? You're collecting information from subjects about their opinions, attitudes, and perceptions of a particular object when you conduct a survey. You're getting their feedback, and you're gathering information from them on a specific topic. The survey research design determines how they feel about a specific topic. These are the non-experimental research design classifications, in addition to correlational research, descriptive research is used. Survey research design and developmental research design that's all there is to it in terms of non-experimental study design. Thank you and farewell until we meet again with another video.